Hey guys, this is the uh, Danger Dash um, mini game. So basically, all you have to do. Well, I just got wrecked. Doesn't really matter because this doesn't really take any skill. But uh, if you wanted to be tactical about it, you could sit back and like use your Moonlight Splitter, which wouldn't work on this side. But basically, it's a simple pattern. It goes from over here all the way to over there, one at a time, and then it repeats. It doesn't go back and forth. It starts from there and there, which I didn't know like two seconds ago because I thought it went um, to the one I'm standing on now. I'm about to get hit in a second. No, I survive. Alright. And the warrior dash just makes this infinitely more easier. So this one, I get bombed a lot. Um, just nothing really you can do. I guess as a paladin, you can block. And, uh, you'd be okay. Yeah, see, so yeah, I, I did that stage pretty easily. Um, the next one, uh, I don't even think this is a stage. It's just a passing area. But you have to, uh... On this next one, you have to hit the things without being detected by the guard. I don't even know what happens if you're detected by the patrolling enemy. I guess you get to fight them. Ooh, exciting. I mean, I, sh I should get caught on purpose. But I don't want to risk something. I don't know. Anyhow, that that's easy too. Um, you, you can only do these things like a certain... Um, amount of times a week. What? I didn't even know that was... What? That didn't happen the last time. I'm serious. It, it, that did not happen the last time I did that. That's really annoying. Anyhow. That that just pissed me off right there. Um, okay, so if you can only step on the... Oh, maybe you can only step on the red ones this time. That's why. Because uh, before I was stepping on the blue ones, because that's what it told me to step on. But anyhow, yeah, you can only step on one color. Alright, here it's pretty easy. You dodge the hurricanes, they go um, alternatively. So it's pretty easy. You can just, as a warrior, it's even easier. Obviously, it's not for me, because I'm just a downer. Alright, there we go. And the treasure chest. That's it. You go to town after you get your tickets. Hey guys, this is the Gobarta stage of the uh, the fair, and uh, this is actually a really nice form of EXP for anyone who is trying to level up. You can do this stage seven times a week, and it yields out about 50k experience in about three minutes. So. Be sure to always get this free EXP. Um, I, make sure you do it with empowerment points, and you can get up to a thousand EXP from uh, every goblin you kill, and you get to kill three hundred seven times a week. So if you get fifty K from the uh, three hundred goblins, and you can do it seven times a week, that is like three hundred fifty K. So that is a lot of EXP to get a week. And, um, easy EXP at that. And since it just came out today on Friday, um, it resets on Saturday, most likely, so you'll be able to do it again. So for anyone who is, um, not 24 yet, this might be your ticket to 24. Really easy EXP, um, no difficulty at all on any of these, so you can even do this at level 10 if you want. And it almost eliminates the grind factor in leveling up. So, I mean, this could be considered as a level up guide to 24, but make sure you watch that. It's one of my other videos, and uh, basically for all that commission grind in between and just stuff where you feel stuck at leveling, um, just make sure you're doing these uh, seven times a week, and you will be able to level up really fast. Um, in a moment, I'll be done, and I'll show you what the boss is like and how much EXP he gives. kind of upset that they did not um, increase the level cap, but uh, at least we're not bored to death. We have a little bit more content, I guess. Hopefully they uh, raise the level cap soon, because swordsmen are still going to be pretty OP in a 1v1 ladder, so I'll be looking forward to trying to raise to the top of the ladder. Alright. 
I'm kind of lagging from fraps, but I'll, I'll still record. Because I don't really need to try. Maybe I do, because I'm getting wrecked. God damn it. There we go. I'm pretty much frozen on my screen right now. Due to lag. But, yeah. Now it's killed. Not to mention you get pretty much infinite HP by the looks of all this, uh mana and HP potions. So, um, saying that it's difficult is absurd. Um, easy kills, 20k EXP from the boss, so this is definitely the way to level up. And remember, you can only do it 7 times a week, but it's definitely worth the uh, effort to level up for, so make sure you remember to do these. Hey everyone on YouTube, it's the treasure run part of the Daredevil Fair, so um, this is my first time going through this. I'm going through with uh, my clanmate Retro Swaggin, or on this character, <laughs> Swagkula. Alright, so it looks like we start in different areas, that's interesting. Uh -huh. oh, looks like I have to battle these guys. What the fuck's a gargoyle mage? And I'm lagging. I'm lagging so bad. Alright. Doors are opening. This is hard. It is. Why is it on easy? <laughs> you can't do it on a different difficulty. It's like easy only. All the fair shit's easy. I don't know why. <laughs> chest thing. Oh, we get to go to the next level. Alright, that's cool. You got your chest thing? Cool. You got your chest thing? Yeah. yeah. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. I, for I forgot to mention the uh, boss run challenge or whatever. Uh, boss rush. And what that basically is, is just a uh, bunch of bosses that you get to fight that are really weak and pretty much do no damage so uh, it's really easy to complete and I, I don't think there's a need for me to go back and show you uh, but it's pretty easy you get your tickets and that's about it real quick I'm gonna look through the items for you guys um, and you can exchange them with the tickets you win in the fair which is not even a hard thing to do but um, yeah all right I, okay, you can exchange tickets for different tickets. It's not really useful. Um, crude crystal sparks. You can buy them for ten each. Wow, that's actually going to drop the prices on those a lot. Um, and you can also buy epic gifts. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Um, I might actually buy one of these, but as it says. Epic rank gifts will not affect your relationship with an NPC, so what are they even used for? I don't understand. 
Um, yeah, then you can get a gift pouch. I might get one of those just to see what it is, which I can't afford yet. And then you can get a luster pouch, which give you gems. All right, so decent prizes, not not too too many cool prizes, but um, definitely worth for these things. I might go ahead and buy one and just try to sell it on the market which the market price is pretty much already going to drop on that so I won't even bother anyhow thank you for watching this video please subscribe